Here, on the Isle of Wight, humanity and technology evolved to a point of no return. One man did the impossible and wrote a message that could be sent and received through thin air. At the Needles, on Allen Bay, a monument was erected to mark the significance of an experiment. With the support of the British Post Office, a 23-year-old Guglielmo Marconi and collaborators operated a wireless telegraph station that exchanged radio messages first with a tugboat in Allen Bay, then with Bournemouth, 14 miles away, Poole, 18 miles away, and later with ships 40 miles out at sea. This was the first time in Earth's history that a message was sent wirelessly across the sea. Marconi is considered the inventor of wireless communication because he turned what were lab experiments into practical communication systems. Plus, he was the first at the patent office and the first to commercialize radio into a global business. Marconi would go on to win the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1909. And in 1912, wireless radio operators on board the Titanic utilized Marconi's telegraph to send distress signals that allowed 700 passengers to be rescued from certain icy death. Britain's Postmaster General said of the event, those who have been saved have been saved through one man, Mr. Marconi and his marvelous invention. Marconi had an illustrious career. He played a part in founding NBC, the BBC, and he even built the world's first international shortwave broadcast station, Vatican Radio. And in honor of his marvelous invention, when Marconi died in 1937, radio stations all over the world went silent in his honor. Marconi advanced society into an era unshackled by wires and brought about the dawn of wireless communication. And without his experiment at Allen Bay, you would not be watching this very video. Global Invercom, completing the picture.